Hello, I'm criminal defense attorney Mark Rosenfeld. I want to take a minute to talk about restitution in criminal cases, specifically in driving under the influence cases. Whenever you have a criminal case in California where there is a victim and that victim has suffered a financial loss, then they are entitled to restitution or payment for the loss that they suffered. So in particular, if you're dealing with a driving under the influence case, we'll often see where there is an accident and as a result of the accident, somebody else, a victim, has suffered a loss, damage to the car, lost wages, an economic loss like that. As a settlement term, as part of a plea bargain agreement, restitution will be required and that restitution is to pay back for the actual out-of-pocket expenses of the victim. If you have insurance, your insurance should step up and cover that loss. But if your insurance doesn't cover it or you don't have insurance, then if you settle a case and accept liability, you're going to be required to pay back. You have a right to a hearing where their judge can take evidence on what the loss is, but ultimately there may be a finding that you owe an amount of money and then another hearing to determine how much money you can afford to pay on what basis. Many times restitution is ordered and the, the defendant who has accepted responsibility will then be ordered to pay a certain amount every month to the victim to compensate them for the loss if they can't make that payment in one lump sum. It's not an automatic uh, finding of a certain amount of money. Uh, it can be negotiated or you can have a hearing and put forth evidence. And the victim has to actually have suffered this loss. They can't say, well, my car was damaged and because my car was damaged, I want $5,000. They've got to show that they've paid money to fix the car or establish the diminished value or what the actual loss is. It's not speculation. They have to come up with a specific number. But in most DUI cases, if there's an accident, restitution will be part of a settlement. Um, of course, if you go to trial and you're acquitted, you're found not guilty, there would be no requirement for restitution. If you've got questions regarding, pardon me, if you've got questions regarding restitution in a criminal case, please feel free to give me a call. I'd love to talk to you about what the state of the law is and how it would apply in your particular situation. Once again, this is criminal defense attorney Mark Rosenfeld, and you can reach me directly at 310-424-3145. Once again, attorney Mark Rosenfeld. My office is in Beverly Hills, California. I handle cases in the Los Angeles area, and you can reach me at 310-424-3145.